Hey, what up, gamers? It's Glenn again, back with some uh, more pickups for you. Another uh, video game find video for you. And I got a uh, couple packages here, too. Especially this big boy right here. I think I want to do a unboxing on. So let's kind of get into it. I don't have a lot of pieces here, but the one the main thing I want to get into is this uh, unboxing here. So first of all, I picked up a couple of uh, Street Fighter Hot Wheel figures. So that's how I like Ryu there. That's Ryu and Ken is on the other side. And Blanca and Dawson. I thought these were actually pretty cool cards. These will look good on my gaming wall. And uh, this is uh, Vega, Vega and Chun Li there. Uh, and then these are the other two. The, the, all five of them, I'm missing two of them there. But, uh, you know, I thought those would be kind of cool on my game of wall. Uh, and then, ended up getting these figures. The uh, Marvel versus uh, Capcom Infinite figures of uh, Black Widow and Ryu. And let me do this, man. Black Widow and Ryu right there. All right. And uh, some games I got. So now some of the games I got here is uh, for the PSP. That's uh, Chinatown Wars. So I finally ended up getting that. And for the Saturn, I got a sample disc of uh, Knights. So that's a sample disc. A nice there. And wouldn't be a pickup video for me if I didn't have find no smuff. So I found me actually this is another copy uh of uh Raiden Projects, which is a classic game. Then I also found or oh, my boy Eric, I should say, gave me a good deal, a bro price on his uh Xbox and some games. So I got the Modern Warfare. That's the Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3 Xbox. It didn't come with the control, but it came with the other um, hookups and stuff. And I had a 250 gig hard drive already installed in there. Uh, then he gave me a couple games, which were the Batman games. Of course, Arkham Asylum, uh, Arkham City, and uh, Arkham Origins. So that all those from him. Then I got, uh, let's see, this is just going to be in the way. Now, got to have some Neos too. So, caught me some Neo MVSs here. Uh, one of them was, uh, this is uh, stake winners for the MVS. This is um, Super Sidekicks, uh, uh, the Ultimate Eleven, which is, a, which is a soccer game, if y'all didn't know. And then here's a, a nice piece too that I got finally to add to my collection, which is uh, Breakers Revenge. And it's a very fun game, too. So, got Breakers Revenge there. And also, I added Windjammers. Windjammers to my collection. So, these are definitely some welcome pieces to my uh, Neo there. So, we got those. So, now let's take a look at some of these packages that I got. <clears throat> take a look at this one. Take a look at this one. So this one, oh yeah, which is basically, can I get this out? Can I get this out? Box of little diamonds that I see rattling around. But anyway, that's all right. Because uh, that's a uh, Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider Infinite Edition. You know, so I wanted all three of the, the trilogies uh, on the PS4, and I didn't have this one. I had, I think I already beat it anyway. I mean, I had it for the, um, that's the box. Let's see, yeah, this is pretty banged up. But I just switched this out with one of my sports games. That's not a big deal. But anyway, uh, I wanted all three of them. I'm a big Tomb Raider fan, so I wanted all three of them. Uh, and then this, now this, I thought I knew what it was, but, okay, yeah, 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 okay, so cool, so that's, uh, 
course I can't read, but uh, Japanese, but that's Kazooie. So Kazooie, which I knew I ordered, uh, which is fine, you know, like I say, gotta have those smugs, but I didn't think it was that. It was gonna include this uh, book. I thought it was just the um, game. So I was surprised to see this book and happy to see this book because I know this is a nice set to have. I'm happy to have this set, you know, being a big, the smut fan that I am. So we got all of those. So let's get into this uh, unboxing here. Let me try to make a little bit of room because I know it's going to take up a lot of space. And I know all y'all pros out there could just edit all that stuff out, but I ain't a pro. So I'm a gamer. So we just move all this aside. Move this, whoa, move this over. Let's get on into it. Because um, now, as I'm opening it up, good old Best Buy, I was eyeing this bad boy for a few years, waiting for them to drop it. And they finally dropped it in price. Best Buy had, like, they were clearing it out, and I was right on time, because I'm like, I want it. So I was able to get a good deal on it. And I'm glad they got it in the, some bubble around it. I'll show you how they got it in the bubble here. So, uh, which is nice. But yeah. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can I put this. Maybe. Here without messing up. Yeah. Okay. So cool. So cool, there it is. So that's um, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. And all of y'all fighting fans out there, like myself, know what this is about. This is basically um, the deluxe edition of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, even though the game wasn't all that revered. But um, the set, I thought, was really nice. I thought it was a little bit too pricey for me. But I um, always thought it was nice. And as you can see, you got four figures in there. Uh, Chun, Lee, Captain Marvel, Iron Man, and Mega Man, and the Infinity Stones. So that I thought was pretty straight. Let's take a look at it. So let's do an unboxing. There's nothing on the sides. So we don't have to worry about that. But And then the top... This basically goes into how the batteries go in to light up the Infinity Stones or whatever. But well, we don't really care about that. So, which is nice. You got a steelbook copy of the game. You know, I already got this game anyway. And this, this version, by the way, is for the uh, Xbox One. And as of this video... I already bought another one for the PS4. I didn't know they had a PS4 one, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one or not. But anyway, there's that. So now, oh, okay, I'm going to say, now I'm going to see if we can get into this without causing too much problem. And it looks like we can. So, I'm going to do, put that like that. See, okay, so it's got like a little embossing there. I don't know if you're able to see that on there, but let me do that close. Like Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, that's kind of tight. And nothing on the back, on the side. So let's see if we can get into this without causing too much trouble. Let's see. Yeah. So 
obviously already something stuck on there. Okay, so here is, let's get in here without mess things up, but here they all are in plastic, and we just take them out of the plastic, and we'll take a look at Mega Man first. These characters are nice, man, they nice and big, yeah, nice and big, so that's Mega Man, you know. Make a man there. Here, I'll line them up. I'll line them up like that. Uh, okay, Captain Marvel. She's going to come out. She's going to come out. Yeah, like I said, I like these. I like these. So that's Captain Marvel right there. Kind of nice. Got Marvel there. Uh, let's do. He's a, oops. He's Iron Man. It's Iron Man there, looking kind of tight. Okay, I like that too. So like I said, the series might not have been all that good, but um, this set, I've been, I, I was on this set here. Let me look at Chan Lee right there. Look at Chan Lee. Chan Lee right there. Look at Chan Lee right there. Let me see. Chan Lee looking good. Y'all like, I like all of these figures. All of them are really nicely done. So. Like I said, I wanted this set. I really wanted this set. So there they all, there they all are. Let's take a look at the um, Infinity Box. Now they put some batteries in here too, which is uh, okay by me. I move that out of the way. Just put this out of the way. So this is the Infinity Stone. Now, of course they got it screwed on here and I don't have no screwdriver. Um, let me see if I can get this. Boy, that bug me. Let me, uh, <laughs> let me grab my screwdriver because I want to see what this look like. Okay, so these are just, they are like in this case like, in this case like this. Uh, maybe I won't worry about lighting them up. We'll just do it like that. So, this is bright enough. But anyway, there's all Infinity Stones. And for all of y'all going to test my Infinity Stone skills, we'll say the purple one is the Power Stone. Of course, this is from the movie, right? The uh, Space Stone. Uh, this is the, uh, the Red Stone. It's the Reality Stone. The green stone is the time stone. The orange stone is the soul stone. And the yellow stone is the um, mind stone. So anybody want to test my skills, there you go. But, <laughs> but anyway, this is it, y'all. I just wanted to do this uh, pickup video for y'all and do this unboxing. I don't want this to go too long. But here it is. So these are all of my pickups. Thanks for watching as always, y'all. And until the next time.